Hi, good evening everyone. My name is Amit Pratap Singh. I am from Invest UP. Uh, I welcome you all on a new podcast of Mr. Sachin Agarwal from Aerola Industry. So Mr. Sachin, we welcome you on behalf of Invest UP. And first of all, let me tell you that you have a fabulous office full of awards and you know recognitions. So can you please brief us about how what inspired you to opt such critical materials like titanium, nickel alloy, super alloys and which make you a different, you know, uh, person in our industry in, in this sector. So can you please brief us about it? Sure. So Aeroloy Technologies is a wholly owned subsidiary of PTC Industries. Okay. PTC Industries has been in UP in Lucknow for more than 60 years. Uh, we have been in, in the manufacturing sector, uh, primarily focused towards export uh, for a very high crit highly critical components. About 10 years back when the call came from the Prime Minister and the government to make an India for Atmanirbhar Bharat, self-reliant India, we started figuring out or trying to ponder on what would be our role, our company's role in this endeavor. After a lot of thinking, we were able to say that we need to, as a company, put the country at par with the best and the rest of the world in our domain, which is metal. That's why we came up with this overarching principle or we call our dharma of the company, which is achieving parity. The concept of parity that we have uh, illustrated is trying to find all the technological capability and capacity gaps that exist within the country in the area of metals. So when we evaluated this about 8-10 years back, we were able to find and find these specific sectors or technologies and capacities and capabilities within the country of which of course titanium is one of them, super alloys is another one of them, hot isostatic pressing. These are very unique capabilities that without which the country cannot be truly self-reliant especially in the area of aerospace and defense. Without these capabilities, the supply chain dependence on external countries would continue for ages. So until and unless these capabilities are brought within the country, we didn't see any way for India's dependence and true self-reliance to be achieved. And that started us on this journey of uh, getting into these very uh, high-end sectors of making titanium materials, titanium castings, super alloy materials, blades and veins for aero engines, for hot path, turbine area, single crystal castings, directionally solidified materials. All these capabilities have been identified using that principle of achieving parity. So that's great. Actually, you answered my two more questions which I was about to ask you. That's how is your journey and how what make you a bit different in aerospace and you know defense manufacturing and how you are you know aero alloys uh, contributing towards India's Atmanirbhar mission. So if you can just brief a bit about more like how you are different from others in terms of aerospace and defense manufacturing if you can. Yeah sure. So see when you look at aerospace and defense it this aerospace and defense sector can be looked off as a pyramid. On top of the pyramid is your platform manufacturer, so whether it is making air, airplanes, fighter aircraft, submarines, ships, tanks, artillery guns, all this is the platform manufacturer. A tier before, below that is systems manufacturer, so someone who's making aero engines or um, someone who's making landing gear for the airplanes, or tracks for the or armor systems. So these are systems and products. And a tier below that are certain critical components which go into making of these systems and subsystems. And a tier below that, at the bottom of the pyramid, is all the materials, critical materials that are required to make those components. What we did in the first 60, 70 years of our existence, we, with, we always focused on the top one or two tiers. So we're trying to build this pyramid upside down or trying to make the penthouse before we had actually had the building ground, ground floor ready. So what the object, 
So our company is different from most of the other defense manuf uh, manufacturer because we focus on the bottom of this pyramid to give a foundation for the country to use these critical material technologies and capabilities and the critical components that are made out of it which can be used in all the systems whether the systems like you must have seen our parts are, have gone in the few, few days back the uh, launch that was done uh, by ISRO yeah. for the big so our parts were used in that even in the Chandrayaan so right from space to missile systems BrahMos um, to all the even we uh, for the new AMCA aircraft our parts are getting qualified for that GTRE for all the Kaveri engine parts that's a parts and materials going for that so all Indian applications all for Indian requirement but also make in India make for the world so we are also having alliances or partnerships and collaborations and supplies to international groups like Safran for Dasso which makes the Arafail air aircraft which India gets all the titanium castings we are going to start manufacturing that BE systems which makes these M777 ultra lightweight howitzer guns which India uses that is made out of entirely titanium castings we manufacture that so it's a plethora of these capabilities and interventions where we have been able to put India on the map in these capabilities where India was not seen that it 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 has these type of capabilities and technologies which people even now find very extremely surprising that's great actually the way you you know demonstrated the things it's such a uh, you know an eye opener for the person who are listening to that so uh, as we can see the journey is quite you know amazing which you have so in terms of facilitation like being a part of invest up how invest up has facilitated you in terms of getting the licenses permission and any special thing which we did for you if you can mention that that would be great please so up government and invest up has been extremely helpful so first of all one of the, I think, the decision to manufacture and set up this great capability within, within UP was a, was, a, was a very big decision for us. Uh, we have bought, so in this plant we have, uh, have invested about six, seven years back, eight years back, about 350 crores. Then we started this new project uh, in the UP Defence Industrial Corridor, in the Lucknow Node, where we are investing close to 1500 crores. All this is being driven because of the dynamic leadership of the Chief Minister and his vision. As well as, of course, the defence area of the Defence Minister guiding and pushing us to make more in India. Now, UP government has been extremely enterprising. The way the new policies are coming and the very aggressive uh, kind of uh, approach on trying to attract the industry into this in, into the state where with all the baggage of the past uh, of 10 15 years back now all the companies that I meet even domestically as well as internationally everybody recognizes UP and wants to come to UP so first of all of course they are the policy the industrial policy is very attractive with all the uh, capital subsidies and the facil uh, facilitations that are provided. Just to give you an example, you mentioned about what is something that we, uh, UP government or um, Invest UP did. So we were able to uh, get all our land allotment done and land available to us within a matter of months, which for 50 acres of land is a big piece of land in this Lucknow node, uh, which was quite amazing that is why if you could see this new plant that we have set up this all this entire plant with three uh, five plants are being set up one of the plant was recently inaugurated by the chief minister and the defense minister uh, for the titanium and superalloy melt facility uh, all this has been set up in a matter of just one and a half two years so the pace at which we are moving, but at the pace at which UP government is also moving and the Invest UP helping us in this journey and facilitating all this is quite remarkable. I don't think there are many states which can take this kind of uh, steps in supporting the industry. Thank you so much for such kind words actually. So if you can just uh, point out few things like we have a single uh, you know, window system, Nivesh Mitra. So how this system has facilitated you in terms of getting licenses or permission and what else you look forward towards, you know, 
with we should have in Navesh Mitra if he can guide us or if he can brief about it. So Navesh Mitra is certainly a great initiative, and Navesh Mitra, the single window clearance philosophy, is actually bringing it down to the brass tacks and to the real level, where actually the work gets done. A uh, lot of our uh, people are using our in, our in our organization, especially for the new facility, using the Nivesh Mitra dashboard and the uh, interface to apply for various permissions. And the, the feedback is that things are much faster and much less cumbersome than it used to be before. I think this is a great initiative. I'm sure there will be certainly more uh, improvements done to make this space faster. I think speed is the most important aspect of business now uh, in the today's world. And more we can make it faster and less cumbersome we can make it for the industry, initiatives like Nivesh Mitra would be a great reason for more industries to come to UP. So as far as your words are mentioned actually, so how, how you see UP as a you know, defense manufacturing hub and uh, what else you think that uh, you know gonna attract other customers or other investors to come here and do something big in defense manufacturing as you are doing because you are already into expansion what as you mentioned you have a new plant by the name of Aero, as you mentioned that so what else if you can sub guide us like or guide other people what you see UP as a you know a manufacturing hub for defense manufacturing and aerospace manufacturing. The most important part of this is to create a defense and aerospace ecosystem. The advantage other states, especially the southern states in Tamil Nadu and Maharashtra have, as they have had a very long runway. They've had already been on this path for a long time. UP is just starting uh, for the past few years. The advantage UP has is the amount of people available and that is its biggest strength plus the government's incentives and uh, facilitation that is going on. My recommendation would be in two ways to look at at the top of the uh, hierarchy where to attract certain anchor industries which like QP has done brought in Brahmos, BDL plants and all those big anchor industries but also try to bring some international anchor industries, OEMs, like Airbus, Safran, these type of companies within the state, provide them the incentives to come to the state. That would help UP to bring certain, all these MSMEs into the ecosystems because they will be, start be, becoming suppliers to these big anchor industries. And that is what will start this whole uh, ball rolling where we could have both an anchor industry which can drive this but also a huge uh, utilization of our existing MSMEs which can get part which become, can become part of this uh, defense and aerospace ecosystem. So that's very attracting actually maybe uh, you know in future uh, those who listen to you will definitely come to uh, you know have a setup here in the state. But if we can, if we have to give any message to the manufacturers or investors who wants to come here and you know start their operations from state, what message will you give to the those investors or manufacturers uh, on behalf of the state? I think UP is in is one of the best states to start any new industry. Uh, UP is not what you people would think used to be 10 years, 15 years back. I mean, UP has changed. UP is certainly rising. I think if someone does not invest in, someone is planning to invest and or expanding, they, if they do not come to UP, they will really miss a big opportunity. This place is rich with the best resources available, that is the human resource people, as I mentioned earlier, but it has a great government, which is extremely supportive of industry and backing them up. I think there is a, a, a great story which is being written here. Uh, history is in the making uh, for UP to really transform and reach that one trillion dollar economy in the shortest time possible, which probably no other state would have achieved in this span of time. So I think I would invite all the investors to become part of this history and become part of this journey to come to UP invest as well as take part in this history making.
thank you so much sachin ji for your kind words and your precious time to us uh, we have you know we don't have any word to express the way you you know uh, modified the things for us so it's been a great uh, interacting with you and we will look forward to support you in each and every step in your you know future investments and uh, setups thank you so thank you sachin ji same here